Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 28. We're going to be looking at quaternions. This will be Part 2. We'll have uh, be looking at identity quaternions, the magnitude of quaternion, as well as the conjugate and inverse of quaternion. So identity quaternions, geometrically, we'll have two of them, which will represent no angular displacement. We'll have 1, 0, 0, 0, and negative 1, 0, 0, 0. Recalling that this is w, x, y, z, where w is represented by cosine theta over 2, and these are each by n and then sine theta uh, over uh, 2x and y, z. So uh, y sine uh, theta over 2 and z sine theta over 2. So when theta is an even multiple of 360, then cosine theta over 2 is equal to 1. So we have this number here, when in that theta is an even multiple. When it's an odd multiple of 30, 360, then it's negative 1. So we have the second form right here. And always, during, the, during both, sine of theta over 2 is going to be 0. So the value of n is unimportant in this, and we'll always have 0, 0, 0. So Mathematically, we only have one identity quaternion, which is the positive version, because when we have a negative q after multiplying uh, by the negative 1, we don't have q is equal to negative q. These aren't equal, mathematically. So in the math world, negative 1 uh, it does not count as an identity, but we'll be using it for our purposes. Uh, recall the formula for vector magnitudes. It's going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of all the uh, um, vectors within it. The formula is similar for quaternions. We'll say the magnitude of w, x, y, z is equal to the sum of its part, uh, sum of the squares of its parts, square root of the sum of the square roots of its parts. And then same thing in the shorthand version, we'll have the square root of the w squared plus the magnitude of the vectors here. So that's the same thing as this up here. Uh, geometrically substitute uh, theta and n into this. Like again, we're going to have w is cosine over theta over 2, and uh, v is going to be the sine of theta over 2 times the magnitude of n. So we have this out here. Recalling that n is a unit length so of 1, so we can get rid of that, and we can use the trig identity of cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So the square root of 1 is obviously 1. So we'll be using unit quaternions for this. Uh, again, going on to conjugates, the notation is Q and then the little splat. So we're going to be uh, obtaining this by negating the vector portion. And negating means multiplying by a negative 1 scalar. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it just looks like each of the above. The inverse q negative 1, q to the negative 1, is the conjugate over the magnitude. And when we multiply a quaternion and its inverse, we get the identity quaternion. So q to q to the negative 1, q times q uh, identity, or excuse me, inverse, is equal to 1, 0. For our purposes, we're going to be using unit quaternions, and conjugate and the inverse will be equal because of that. Uh, Q and Q splat represent one or represent opposite angular displacements. So when we negate V, uh, we negate the axis of rotation in. So this basically re reverses the positive rotation. So if Q rotates about an axis by an amount theta, Q splat represents the opposite direction in the, by the same amount. So that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and a like. Uh, share on social media if you will. Go to ProMTIL.com and sign up for our newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.